Um, the first pattern piece that we're going to need is our back. Then we're going to need our sides. There's one side. There's the other side. Now remember that the white part has to go at the bottom and good side down, like that and like that. And we're going to be joining the side edge. And then we sew the align tip. And the edge, like that. There we go. This is going to fit in here, like that. Clip it up like this, right? Sort of align this and then tilt it a little bit so that the start of your curve here and the start of this curve is this curve is aligned, right? Just align these two like this. And then you set. Now as you move along, this curve needs to be aligned with this curve, right? So you to start going, and then you just Make sure that both this part of the fabric and this part, you pull them together straight in front of the needle. And you just follow your curve. And sew this thing in place. Remember, you're going to have to pull the front a little bit here. Because the front is going to stretch a bit on the seam to give good support for your masculine bits. Go all the way to the edge. That's one. The other, same story, good side, good sides together. Align this start here. Fold your front piece double, like that. There we go. Front. Back, good sides up. Front, good side down, and we align the sides. And then the other side. In the back, you have three notches, one, two, three, and they match these points, one, two, and three, right? So what you do is you line back and front, good sides together, smack in the middle, and you start from the middle, and sew them together like that. So. side there you go now what needs to be done we need to put in the elastic and hand the legs and they are done so that's really quick
Right. Time to hem the legs. So, just use a few pins to bend your hemming in place. Just fold the bottom of the leg to the back. Make your way around the leg. Okay, so I have pinned back the hemming, so we'll get something like this. I'm going to hem this now, and when doing so, I'm going to start somewhere here between your legs, because at the start, we're going to have to tie off the thread layer, and it's better to tuck that in a place that isn't so visible. So let's get started. Oh, I'm hemming this on my cover lock machine, but if you don't have a cover lock machine, don't worry, you can just hem this with a zigzag stitch or a line hem or some other um, stitch that has some flexibility to it. Because, you know, you want this to be able to stretch after you're done. There we go. One hand leg. Um, I'm going to tie up the loose threads. And what we're going to do later on is also trim off any excess fabric, like if it's a few millimeter you can leave it. If it's more, you just cut that back, making sure not to cut into your uh, hemming stitch. So I'm going to do the other leg and then we'll do the waistband. Since the elastic you bought might stretch a little different from mine, the best thing is just to wrap it around your body until you have like a good fit. Now make this as tight as you want, so it's comfortable for you. And then give it a little seam allowance, so you can sew it together. And that's what you need. Before you start, join the two edges of the elastic so that you have a loop. I've made a loop with my elastic, sewn it together here, and I've sewn the uh, edges flat, just on a regular sewing machine. Um, I'm going to put in some pins. I'm going to divide the elastic in four pieces. So then I have one, two, three, four pins. And I'm going to do the same with my boxers. So I've got this tube and I'm going to pin here, pin here, and then pin there, and pin there. So get your pins in place on your waistband and your fabric, and then it's back to the sewing machine. The boxers will sit inside the elastic. So the pin at the back of my boxer, I'm going to put it right there where I joined the um, waistband. And I'm going to pin the both of them together. And I'm going to do the same at the front. And sew them together. I hope you can still see because we have a visitor. There we go. If you've done the front and the side, uh, sorry, front and back, then if this pin here on the side, you can take that out and we're going to pin it to the side pin of the waistband. And then finally we're going to do the same thing here. So, pin in the front, two sides and the back. As you can see, our waistband needs to be stretched out like that, the elastic. And we sew this in place, right? So as you sew this, continuously stretch your waist, your elastic, so that you can sew it to your boxers. I'm going to do this with the cover lock machine, but you can just do this with a zigzag from there. When you stretch out the uh, elastic, make sure to also stretch it at the back, because if not, the machine won't make much progress. <laughs> done. Um, lock this thread, cut off on the loose edges and, um, and they're finished. When you go to the website to look at the um, documentation for making these boxes, you see that there is a bunch of optional steps um, that I haven't covered here. And the optional steps are actually top stitching that you apply to the seams to sort of visually break up the different panel of the boxers. 
And while we've been making uh, the boxes in this video, I also made a second pair where I did the stop stitching. And I have that pair right here. So as you can see, basically wherever we have the seams, I've applied top stitching um, to sort of, you know, make the seams more visible. Um, I personally find that it looks better. Now this is not um, a great color combination, one could argue. I, I went for what would make it easy to see on camera. In my previous uh, trousers from the Scratch series, I did black fabric, black thread, black lining. It was very difficult. So I went for blue, white and black to make it clear. But with the nice color combination, I think the top stitching looks better and makes it look less like uh, swim trunks, right? So maybe I'll show a comparison of the two and then you can judge for yourself. If you want to do the top stitching, it's really easy. Just follow the, um, the documentation that shows you what time is the easiest to you know, put it in between steps. Um, that's about it for me. Uh, making these boxes is really easy. Um, I'm sorry if some of the camera angles weren't always great. It's been a while since I made videos, um, so I need to get into it a bit more. Um, I spent a lot of time working on a new website and I want to thank everybody who commented on um, and gave feedback on my previous videos on making trousers. Um, that really was a big motivator for me to, to do all the work. Now that the website's done, I'm looking forward to uh, do more patterns and more videos soon so that you know maybe you can make some cool stuff at home.